Welcome to Telegraph Presents, the next Sugar Plum Fairy at the Royal Ballet with Annette Bouvoli and her Prince Nicole Edmonds. I'm Sasha Slater and I'm Head of Luxury at the Telegraph. And as this is a subscriber event, I want to thank you very much for your ongoing commitment to the Telegraph. Um, first, a little housekeeping. Uh, you can make the video full screen by clicking the square on the bottom right. Um, and I would also like to thank everyone who sent questions for me. I'll be asking those uh, later on during our talk. American dancer Annette Bouvali is a soloist at the Royal Ballet. She joined the Royal Ballet School from the Boulder Ballet School in Colorado and graduated into the company in 2013 and was promoted to soloist in 2022. Nicole Edmonds is from South Devon and joined the Royal Ballet in 2012 from the Finnish National Ballet and was promoted to first soloist in 2021. And I'm delighted that they're both here to talk to us about the Sugar Plum Fairy and the Nutcracker and all things Christmas. So um, the Nutcracker is really the spirit of Christmas, isn't it? Is it something that it was a very early Christmas show that you saw when you were little or... Um, for me, it was, I never actually saw it before I danced. Um, it was a production that I grew to knew as I started ballet. Um, the studio Boulder Ballet held these auditions very early in the year and I had no real idea of the story, but was really excited by it. So did the audition and, um, then obviously got the storybooks and the music and everything was really thrilled to be part of it. So it kind of, usually I think you do see it when you're very young and then, you know, aspire to be part of it. But mine was kind of, it happened all at once as I started dancing. And were you a little dancing girl in the first act? Um, I was, the Boulder Ballet version is a little bit different than the one at the Royal Ballet. And we have in the second act, it wasn't part of the first act, we have in the second act kind of, um, I can't remember what music it was to, but it's um, like, fairy tales. So I was one, my first role ever was a kitten that had lost its mittens. And we like came out of a big skirt and it was really, really exciting. I just, it was my first time on stage. So it's, yeah, very different from the production that I'm a part of now, but um, same music and yes, that really Christmassy feeling. Lovely. And, and how about you? Was it a, a ballet that you loved as a child and do you remember seeing? I think it's, um... I think it's more one of those ballets that we're all just so familiar with, aren't we? Like the music is so well known, we hear it all the time over Christmas. Uh, and so it wasn't a particular, um, you know, I never had a particular journey with it, but um, I certainly was always very familiar. And what did you feel when you first saw the Royal Ballet production, which is so famous and so, um, it's such a classic, isn't I mean, it? It's definitely iconic. Mm. And it's coming up to the 40th anniversary next year. Yeah. Right. So obviously just a ballet that is, withstood the test of time for that many years and continued to spread the Christmas joy and inspire so many people is is a masterpiece, I guess, really, isn't it? Yeah. You know? It's I think it's the most magical version. Yeah. Yeah. I I remember the first time I saw it was as a student and the third year students at the, the school. The first time you saw this production. Yes. Yeah. Um at the Royal Ballet School. And the third year students there, um, they always get to do the snowflakes. They're, they're like you cover the snowflakes. And so for me, I couldn't wait to be a snowflake. It was like, yeah, it was so exciting. And how did you feel when you were told that you would be dancing the Sugar Plum Fairy? Well, Nicole actually I told, told you. me. <laughs> <laughs> it was on stage and Annette was busy practicing and I happened to see it. I think it must have gone out on, my, on our emails or something. So yeah. I saw it on the phone. Yeah. And then Annette was in her, you know, ballerina mode on stage doing a <laughs> thing. And I kind of like waltzed up to her and was like, guess what you're doing? Yeah and told her and the, sh the look of disbelief on her face, yeah. I, won't, I won't forget. Yeah, it was... She was like, no, no. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yes. It was, I think, the most surprising thing I've ever been told as a ballet dancer. Even more surprising than getting my contract with the Royal Ballet, which was really up there. Um, it's not... I never dreamed. And, and why, why was that? Um, I think I just never thought that I would get the opportunity. So as you um, as you go on in your career, you kind of start to see the roles that you tend to get and the path that you might take. And obviously everything can change. There's surprises and um, 
I just, being quite a tall dancer, I never thought that I would do a principal role as such. I I tend to do the roles, you know, the the roles just under that. So like, for example, in The Nutcracker, you have the Rose Fairy. She leads the Waltz of the Flowers. And, um, you know, I kind of thought, oh, look, that's where I aspire to be. That's probably the highest I'll, I'll go. And um, so I would always kind of watch the pas de deux, not as, oh my God, I, I hope I get to do this, but as a, oh wow, aren't they wonderful? And never really seeing myself there. So to hear that I was going to get to do it was, yeah, just the the biggest surprise. Um, yeah, it took me like a few weeks. A <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was so exciting and and thrilling and and really wonderful. But yeah, it was a shock. <laughs> and you've been dancing the uh, the Sugar Plum Fairy's Prince for a while. Does he even have a name? Her um, cavalier. He's her cavalier. I think. Oh, he's a yeah. cavalier, not her prince. Yeah, he's an unnamed prince. Yeah. So, um, I think this is my f this is my sixth time, maybe or fifth time. Mm. So I've done it with Annette. Will be my fifth ballerina, um, dancing this role. And um, yeah, I mean, f for me, it was something I did aspire to. I quite like the princeliness of the role, <laughs> and it's um, it's kind of classical ballet e elevated to its most kind of desirable and mm. chic and yeah it's it's it's, it's such glamour it's as well up, it's glamour it? exactly yeah. it's up there with the kind of the best of the best yes absolutely um and i had the amazing privilege of watching you both rehearse yesterday and uh it seemed uh unbelievably hard work i mean i came out of there exhausted and mm -hmm. i'd just been watching so how hard is it really to go through that kind of intense concentration and intense physicality of it hard it's hard yeah it's a real i think you have to really delve into the the process of um getting from the very first rehearsal to this mm. to the performance and when that starts you kind of feel yourself entering this mm. journey basically which is and obviously annette and i go through it together but also with our coaches as well and you become very familiar with them and they really become kind of not parental figures but you know this nurturing guidance throughout that whole journey and um i don't know for me i always feel like i'm entering this time when you know everything gets a bit kind of like heavier and you're just focused on this one role and this one performance or two performances whatever it might be mm. um because it is very technically it's very challenging and obviously there's more pressure so yeah. you know you've got to really make sure that you've uh practice everything, rehearsed everything, so that you are going to deliver the best show that you can when it comes to showtime. And so that's what we've kind of started yeah. the, like this week and last week. Yeah, it's really the most, um, I think I've felt a process, as Nicole says, this adventure, this kind of, you your focus kind of goes from, maybe you have shows that are happening in other you know ballets that are kind of ticking over in the background, but your focus is very narrow with this like you really want mm, to get exactly. the most out of every rehearsal you want to eke out every detail um you know you're going to be so exposed you know you're the principals and so it's not up to you to carry the ballet because obviously it's a group effort but yeah you do kind of feel you are the like, centerpiece aren't yeah. you you're, so, you're the, you are literally the you know yeah the plum on top of the cake yeah so, yeah so it's um it's wanting to be the best centerpiece you can be and it, it's really even though it's hard it feels very very rewarding I think to find those little moments that you just you keep polishing mm -hmm. nothing you know you keep growing as an individual as a couple it's every day you find something you know sometimes things don't work sometimes things work really well it's this constant conversation between us and between ourselves also how you deal with the stamina being so difficult and wanting to quit, but pushing through and knowing that you've achieved just that little step more each day is really satisfying. Tiring, but yeah. very satisfying. And I, th I think that's what makes it so rewarding and kind of addictive in a way, because you never get there in the sense yeah. that no matter how many times you do these challenging classical works, there's always room for improvement. There's always room to grow. You can always do it better. And, you, you know, you can never kind of 
you might have moments where you're like, yes, that was really it. Like we yeah. nailed that. But generally, you know, there's ebbs and flows and you go up and down and there's all you can always do more. So yeah. we're always hunting, aren't we? And searching to find that. Yeah, it's uh, I always dream of the perfect show. Yeah. It's yet to happen. <laughs> well, you have you have moments, though, don't you? Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily mean it went technically very well. It might be yeah. the feeling was very yeah. special or, you know, you you connected with your partner in a really uh, authentic way, you yeah. know, rather than and sometimes technically everything just goes really swimmingly. Yeah. And then occasionally you might have a show where you kind of, I've, I think I've had in my whole career of 13 years, two shows mm -hmm. I can think of that weren't perfect, but had had a sense of, yeah. I, it's, I don't want to say the perfection word because <laughs> yeah. it, it's a dangerous <laughs> word because there's no such thing, but you know. A really satisfying yeah. marriage elation. Of, elation. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And you were saying that this was your first ever big pas de deux role yeah so how did you approach that yeah this is my first proper principal role um and I think well once I found out I was probably really nervous for it for a month which we found out in July so knowing that you kind of have all this time until their show is the first of January so you have a long time so I kind of, I was anxious about it and I thought, oh my, I don't know how I'm going to approach this. And then coming into the new season, you kind of relax a little bit because you get back in the swing of things. And I knew that we were going to be really looked after and um, that we were going to have this gradual process. So you kind of just have to go along with it and really trust that your coaches will get you there. And I have felt that I have been able to just, if I show up, I know that I will be helped and I know that I'll be guided. And um, so I just try to show up with a really positive attitude as much as I can and just absorb as much information as possible in all of our, you know, hour calls or 15 minutes for us. So, you know, you kind of, you're just always trying to take little bits with you. And you start off learning the steps. Yes. the most basic thing yeah and how long does that take because it felt to me as though you had it all inside your bodies you knew exactly what, you know where you were going and what you were doing but yeah I think it took I had um I started by myself with just the solo um and that it took two hour calls to teach the whole solo it's a long solo and just get all it's not so much just teaching the steps but also knowing where you put your eye line, how and when you should open your arm, you know, they already start giving you these things to think about, these details, which when it's new, the coordination of things can be a little bit difficult. And then same with the pas de deux, I think we mm. had two hours to kind of slowly teach and try things and piece it together. And now would be a good time to watch some footage of Annette, Nicole and Darcy rehearsing together. I'm always there. Now, but walk. That's nice. Not too much. Perfect. Good. Ba, 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 ba. One. And up. <laughs> There's so many. And round. Now, a little pause here. Hold. Out. Yeah. Now, again, another pause. <gasps> now, again, indulge on this bit. <gasps> Close, take the full music. Yeah, da, 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 da. Bum. Down, it's just up, down. Come up quickly. Ba, lovely. Wait, go. Brrr, da. Just up and down. Step, step, step. Good. Was early. <laughs> you know you were early, weren't you? Yeah, we're getting a little bit early every time. Yeah. So when you come down, when you come down, don't just go one step into it. You can go da da. Yeah. So don't have to carry it so long. It's more of a ya down. Okay. Yes. So don't worry it's about travelling. Yes, quite but then she the can girlies. do more work. So she should do the running. But they're much closer on stage. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I had two couples already on stage. I did it on that thing. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. You won't be so high up okay. and all those sort of things. Down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she can, and, and Annette can go, da, da, yum. Yeah, you don't have to go just one, okay. boom. You know, judge it. Play yep. with this. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the second lift, dum, bum. Thank you. Good yep. <laughs> yum, bum, but da, yum. Nice. Da, yum, bum. Good. Wait, run. Should be on centre, yum, bum, diagonally down, dum, 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 yum, yum, bum, good, da, yum, bum, now don't be late, get on with it, yum, bum, ba, da, 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 yum, bum, down, ba, 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 lovely guys, finish, yum, bum, Go. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad. So when we did all this, your promenade, promenade, and then you hold, and then as you promenade, watch that we get this port de bras coming together, because you went up with one and then you attached the yes. second one. They should be as one, yes. um, uh, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you promenade. Now, wait here a little bit. Just take her so we can see that. Exactly, that's lovely. So as soon as you get behind her, we're, because we're, there's only half a turn, yeah. yeah. So it doesn't have to be too high. Okay. Yeah, because more of that kind of romanticized. Um, the other thing after um, this one into the pirouette, but again, think of that, mm -hmm. and then don't go down, 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 yes? Think of ba, ba, up, 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 yeah? Ba, that's nice, and fill this out, boop, 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 yeah. That's better, yeah, you had yeah, your, your nose on the ground. Yeah. Um, yes, um, should we try that, that pirouette again into that? Because oh, yeah. I just felt you're a bit anxious, and you're, are you going step together, are you, or are you going step, step? I think go step, far. step, just so it gets you a little bit further. That's better. Yeah, that's nice. Beautiful. Boom. Yeah. Think of the first leg coming right in front of it so it doesn't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's hip flexors we need to work. <laughs> but that's a lovely preparation. Yeah, nice big step it out. Da, da, ya, ba, 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 ba. Forward, 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 forward. And bing. Yeah, bing, like that, bing, yes, good girl, yeah. Um, right at the beginning, every time we go away, we mustn't be square, we can't have this, yeah? It's through the torso, you have to have stretch through that torso, you as well. Yeah. So this is too, yeah, so this is curving, yeah? So we reach out, yes. So low, always lower that back arm, remember? Can't have it here. Yeah, it's that feeling. And that every time you come out, so after the ponche and you come back up again, don't go square, yeah? Go through the body, through the, that feel. Oh yes, so much nicer. Now you look like artists. Ba, ba. So what's a really good trick, because this is always a bit nerve wracking, yeah. when you go into the boy, don't go straight out, yeah? Go, you transfer, ba, ba, yeah? Okay. Only an ounce. But yeah. just so he has a chance, because it can feel like we're like little flat cardboard cutouts standing up on one leg. Duh. That's better. Just give him a chance. Yeah. Nice. Yeah? yeah. And it doesn't feel like woo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that kind of <laughs> on a line. All right. Anything else? No? Yeah, much better. Always feel, remember, you've got the whole, you've got all that music. If you're out here, like yeah, hello yeah soon. remember all those bits are the bits that we are the givers mm -hmm. we want to warm to you yeah. yes mm -hmm. all right i think it's yeah. also your prep it just calms things yeah. down because as soon as you come out and you're doing yeah. it's hard yeah, that makes sense. Sense. and then you don't have to hold it for too long yeah. just up down yeah. it doesn't look like mm -hmm. that kind of feeling 
You're right about that. You sure? You're right. You sure? Darcy's right. No, no, it's all right. I don't have to be always your <laughs> no, right. No, you are. Now I'm working you with you. Yeah, I know you are. I'm working yeah. with you on this. All right, let's do a pas deux. Now I want to see long waists. I want you pulling out of your waist straight away. Yes, hold it up. <gasps> You're forward. That's it. Look for each other. <gasps> oh, papa. Now, Bore, up. Good. Not too close to her, that's better. Breathe, bring the arm down. Die young. Boy, wait, wait. And back. Lovely, stay on. Now come around the corner. Now really forward, forward, yes. Hold. Hold. Has to be on the one. Yum. Forward. Ba ba. That's nice. Yes. Try and get the next one before you run around. Okay. Easy. Breathe. Big steps. Da da. Yum. Go on. Keep it there. Keep it there. Good. Lovely. Now support her back, elbow up, forward. Yanda, boom, full movement. Keep the leg there. Good. That's nice, sir. Yum, hold, hold. You've got plenty of time there. Ba, ba. Yes. Don't be ahead. Da, da, ba, ba, yum. Brr. Sit on this. Ya. Yeah. Da, da. Up, up. Good. That's better. And wait. Ba, ba, da. Good girl. Nice. Nicole. Da, da. Yes. Come. Now, go through those feet, go on. Yeah, hold, 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 da. Rah. A little bit quicker we can. Da, da, yum, ba, ba, ba. Yep. Ba, ba. Da, da, na. Now, go as far as you can this side as well. Da, 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 yum, ba, yum, ba. Now, forward, really forward. Ba, ba. Yeah. Lovely. Go on really forward, not throw them away. I don't want your eyes up. Ba ba. Good, keep going. You could do those arms. Finish it. Let's see if we can do the first shoulder lift. Go back. Stay. Hold, hold. You're gonna have to step out. Go on, up. That's it. Really high. Forward, forward. Now don't go too far. Side, side. Woo don't worry, don't worry. Sorry, I just wanted to push you a bit. Yeah, no, it's good. The placing wasn't right, though. So that's why we couldn't help ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yes, don't worry. Don't worry. If anything, when you come down off to this one, you've got to go more sideways. Yeah? Because yeah? he can just do one step back. <laughs> so, not bad. No, very good, guys. Very good. Very, very, very good. Um, if, Nick, I'm sure I've probably told you this, if we can start an arabesque, because oh, yeah. we've got so much to fill out, and if it gets there too soon, then we get off the leg, and then this comes very strange. Uh -huh. So if we can stay up, so we start there, we use this whole movement, blah, 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 and then, just at the last minute, come through the foot. Yeah to do the round. Really? It was too early, yeah. yeah. Um, your head, 
So after the last, this one, either we do that or we do that. You're not doing the same. I think I just stayed looking out. You, you did a little here and then out. Yesterday we said... What did you say? We did up. this one, these ones out. Yeah. No, ton levé up. up. Did we not? I think we I said... Know, sorry. I think we said ton levé up and then other one out. But honestly, I don't okay. really mind. So from that one, we either do that. I quite like that, but just so the prep is... I really don't mind. We can just set it. Yeah. Go on, let's leave it out. Okay. But okay. just make sure we have a nice prepare so we don't go, no, no, no. Yes, that's nice. That's pretty. And then up the... Yeah. I don't think you have room, and I don't think you have time. So I would just go dum, dum, bum, bum. Yeah. You don't really have much time there either. And then out. And you want to feel that security and stop. So out and up the sides. Yes. So done deal. Done deal. And you can use that in the coder as well. So every time you go to that corner, yeah. go up the sides. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you get tired at that point. Yeah. The on on the dons were very good. Oh, I'm struggling with getting the right spacing. I feel like I was a bit far. On the on the yeah. But it, it's good. Okay. It's better than being too close. Yeah. And you can afford to have that space. Duh, yeah. duh. He's going to get you. He's got you every yeah. time. Yeah, I, I didn't think that was. Oh, okay. Cool. You were just a bit nervy. Uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> I didn't sense that, actually. I thought they were quite solid. They were very solid. Yeah. You, there was just lovely distance, but okay. that's how it should be. Yeah. If you see anybody too close, that's it's not better what better than... Yeah. Than um, this, can you throw it more away so it's more in front of you and it's more of the last minute? Yeah? And... Yes. It is a kind of a, a wash. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Instead of a... Mm, oh, my gosh, the next bit, yes? Um, when we go into the Andron pirouettes, you've got to have a bit more of a pause. D don't ever worry about those pauses. Yeah. It takes a lot for the audience to take you in because there's so much mm. material, isn't there? Mm -hmm. So those are really beautiful. Those, yeah. So from here, ba ba, then do one of those before you leave him. Okay. Yeah? yeah. Just so it doesn't look like. Because yeah, then, then we have a lot of. I can't suit you yet until the music. <laughs> yeah. And so we've got we've that moment yeah. of mm -hmm. disconnect between you two. Mm -hmm. Yes? Can we hear? Your, I have got to say something else about your footwork. Um, into the a la seconde, mm -hmm. you are standing like this, yeah. and she's going to put her foot in front of you. And it looks a bit funny because you only close into a little fifth. Oh. And it looks like, it just, for me, it was a little bit of a distraction. Right. So, in so a from way, here, from here, here, always, guys, always think of that moment. We do a little bit this, yeah? Fill this out. Enjoy that moment. Ba, ba. So, you do that. Yes, that's nice. Or, or, so you're here, or there to come close. I think that, instead of that. So, should I step? Ba, that's nice. Is that okay for you? Yeah. You feel secure? Yeah. And then you come into a first. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Cool. Um, I know, somewhere else. But at the moment, it's fine. I think we should keep going. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Should we go into the Padishahs? Yes. Because what um, is that you're just too far over. If you can do the second Padishah right on centre, da 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 and then just quarter. And could you go arms up as well? It'd be so lucky. Yeah, I'll do that. You've got time. Yeah. All righty. But very nice. You always think of that first leg in it. Yeah? Ba, good. Forward. Ba, ba. Da. Da, da, yum. Ba, ba. Da, yum. Now, full it out. Ba, 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 up. Down, down. Ba, 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 ba. Hold, hold. Suit new. Wait, wait. <sighs> nice and high, lovely. Forward, go there. Stop. Good. Forward. Ba, 
pa 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 Gotta get round a bit more. Up. Push away. Go on. Hold. Hold. Pa pa. One, two. Let's get on work done. Ba bam, go. Nice, well done. Now, nice arms here. Put it right forward. Now, big arms, go through the fists. Yeah, just to centre and stop. Stay up high. Woo! <laughs> Are you right? If anything, you've got to drop. So, from here, just hold this. Don't let it go like that, and he'll drop the legs. So you're going that way. So it's that way up. It's, it's what's really hard for the boy also is when you come, he's got to take you really high. So you mustn't lean into it. Yeah, Miss, that's right. That's okay, that's okay. That's why we've rehearsed. <laughs> Much better, guys. Yes, it's lovely when you come down from the shoulder off, that height here is really nice because then it's just here, boom, boom, boom. And if you do, you, you're still going a little bit too far away. I did too many so you go down, da, da, ba, ba. Because remember, this first leg isn't the first step, it's no. that one, yeah. da, da, yum. Yeah. Yes? I was gonna be too close, but then I Yeah, I, I, I just think that you also, you step out a bit with this first leg, mm -hmm. and you're meant to think of right, so even though you're here, you're going right there. Yeah, see. Yeah? Can I, wait, can I try from there? You don't have to actually physically do it. I just want to see yeah, the placing. Yeah. Boom. Da, da, stop. Ba, ba. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, don't have his arm down though. Hips at him, right into your eyes. That's it. Ba, ba, up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this somble, we're getting um, um, a swing. A swing! A swing, swing. So I always imagine that it's in two counts, that it's not one. And at the moment, it looks like your whole body's being pushed away by this hand. This is your support. So you go, buh, buh. This, da, this is da, da. You're meant to be over that. Yeah. At the moment, I feel it's here okay. that we're not connected with this, okay. right next to your hip and over like that. So that's your anchor against her body, mm -hmm. yeah? Is that what you're wanting yeah, yeah. as well? And go ba, ba, and then you'll come round a bit more because we're only here. Yeah. Are you happy to try this? Bum, bum. Da. Yeah, it, it seems to be moving too much, but I mean, I like it, but she's just at a funny angle. You should be on your right side, yeah, more, sure. more that it way. Is, slipping. Yeah. That hand, more that way. Ba, ba. Yeah, it's already your bat mount is round there. Did you notice that? No. And it should be there, okay. but on the diagonal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But don't, I see this. Oh, Do you yeah. see what I mean? Yeah. yeah? Enjoy this moment. Let him, and you've got this. Yeah? Use that. Ba, 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 ba. Don't try that on sorry, me. Sorry. <laughs> I know you're strong. I you wanted to. No, I didn't. <laughs> but I just wanted to show the back more. Da, ba. It's not ginormous. Actually, could we do this music? Please, Kate. Da, da. You go. Da da one two. Driving past me. Too far. Yeah, then mm. it felt like you were going one two. Past her. Three. Okay. I think that's what it was. That's why this this length and this length. Da da. He's giving you. Yeah. But you've got to make sure this is straight and set in stone. Ah, same again, please. Ba ba da da. Bum, bum, out, da da. One, two, lovely. 
Yeah, just come around a bit more. Off. Let's try the next one. Hold, hold, ba, 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 da, da. Okay. It's more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're, we're here. I feel this. And I want you to just bend from the ribs. Okay. Like you're trying to give him your rib. Yeah. That sort of feeling. Okay. So that his other hand is under here. Yeah. And at the moment it feels like that. Yeah. So I don't feel that pitch. Okay. I mean, the timing now is very good. Mm -hmm. If you rush the preparation, <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't ever follow, do you? Well, you're we, setting. We, we keep an eye on you the first lift. Do you? Uh, well, no, but I'm, okay. so I'm stretching out the first step and then they're getting on with it. It would be really nice if you didn't follow, in a way. Well, no, but they should be listening to you. Yeah, they should be listening to you, though. Because I'm trying to get them to pull out the first step and then they catch up because it loses the impetus if they're just going, do you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, same again, please. Da 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 da. Yeah. Da 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 da. Don't rush this. Ba ba da da da. Ba ba da da. One, two. Good. Yeah, think of that core. Off. Hold, hold. Out. Ba ba. One, two. Good. Don't go too far. Stop. Now just a centre. You don't have to go high up. Just stop here. Ba, ba. Now keep your back up. Keep your back up. Go on. Good girl. Now use them. Da, da, yum, ba. Sorry, sorry. Okay. No, that was good. This was good. This was good. Buh, 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 buh. So you're going round. You go one step over, don't you? Uh, I was here. Chris asked me not to do the set. Oh yes, of course. So I should just go. You. This was yesterday. Oh okay. So what are you doing? Give me your arm. Buh, 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 buh. So so I doubt myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just doubt myself. I go here. I'm just in first or whatever. And so when she comes up so and she go goes round. So you. And then she comes in front of me to do. Okay, so the, you're going to be on centre. I should be bang on. Bang it's on. difficult to know which one is. No, I know, you're right. Okay. So from here, this duh, duh, duh. Think of that straight away. Yeah, and then, well, how are we balancing, guys? Are you, are you leaning at no. all? Nothing. No. I've never done that, but I could. No, if anything, I think just this side, because yeah. the position is lovely. If you put, push your left pec forward, <laughs> exactly, and you do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now you've got such big pecs, Nicole. <laughs> Let's show them off. Dumb. Quickly, 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 boom. <laughs> I think, in a way, you've got to sit back in it. The girls are often sticking their bottom out so that he can feel the tutu. We can't have you right behind him like that. Yes, there. That's where it has to be. Boom. Good? Does that feel a little bit more square? No. Yeah, I didn't touch you didn't touch her at all? I don't think it, it's going to be if I... No, no. I mean, there isn't a big pause, but if, if the conductor is going... So do you see? You've got to be there. Boom, boom. We used to do this. Ooh. So you can sit back on it. You don't like that, Nicole. <laughs> go on, go on. Duh. That's nice. That's lovely. Yeah. So you just do a little bit more. When you're falling. Annette, do a little bit more. It's 
yeah? Yep. It's not sinking, yeah. it's just leaning. Yeah. You position yeah. it because he's not allowed to move. Okay. You're not leaning at all on him. I'm not allowed to move. So I can do this. <laughs> Yeah. So, but you are going around this part of his body, yes? Yeah. Don't do this. Do here. Yeah. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. That's good. Nice. That's exactly. Sorry. It. And then when you come down, go a bit more cross, a little bit more. Not that so the hips sink, but a little bit more cross. Yeah. Okay. So that well, just enough, so we don't go da 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 da. Mm. Yeah. Da da da. Yeah, da, 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 think across. Uh, we need to see you. I need some connection between you so that it's there. And he, she smiles. And uh, now a little bit lower. There, that's better. So right on your heel. Can you feel your heel? There, okay. that's better. Yeah. Now juicier. Now stay forward on the hips. Forward, forward. Now resist here. Ba, 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 better. Go on, forward, forward, keep her forward, keep her forward. Now, easy. This has to be down and forward. There we go. And the same up. Two, three, four, and bum, and bum, and bum. Hold, hold, bum, bum. Yeah, so we mustn't be laboured in that one because it's now woof. Can we hear that from the crash, please? Do you want to do a little into the bore before the crash? Yeah, yeah let's do that. So the walk round after coming down from the bluebird lift. I don't think you have to give, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, but that's, that's perfect spot. So from here, when you come down, don't go hand, just go ba ba. Could you do that instead of hand? No, <laughs> like you're asking her to go. Yes, that's nice, that's nice instead of hand, hand, looks. We don't have time. Yeah. Can we do the you want to do that? Lift, okay. Down, yes, well, it was much better coming down, whatever you were doing. I can't feel where I was quite far from the nipple. Yeah, you have to kind of bring her down your body if you can. Stay, don't, don't feel rushed, do because if you're just opening and getting on, and this can be smaller, yeah, yeah going back. All right, um, sway. Yes, thank you, Kate. When you're here, diagonal, it, it looked really good when you stopped. Yes. And then as soon as you did that, you went for doing. Uh, okay. So are you thinking of pushing down with this arm on yeah. his shoulder? You are? Okay. I just I felt like my foot was far from him, but maybe I just need to push further. It's all right. Just don't step too far. Yeah, don't do that because she still needs to feel, you feel more gap, do you? I know everybody's different. Yeah, you don't yeah. feel so good. If well, anything, here, think more. I'm not, not going to go too far just to That's get enough. That. That's yeah. enough. Yeah. Because yeah. as soon as you do too much, yeah. we that. get that feeling. Yeah. Maybe it's just a more of a feeling than you actually stepping away. Physically yeah. doing yeah. it. I'll yeah. just commit to my leg. Yeah. Did you feel like you were on your leg when we came down? Yeah, yeah. this felt good. And then then it shouldn't I, be a problem to open. When I open yeah. it, felt just like I go. Do it more side instead yeah. of behind you. Because I'm going to put you down there. Da. Good. Now, so next bit, close fifth. And yeah, so, so we don't have this uh, weird moment here. Blah, 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 da, da. Just release it okay. like that. Yeah. Just so it comes down a bit more naturally. Da, da, yum, ba, ba. Yes, please. That's lovely, very natural. Da, da, yum. Wait, a two and Now, think of his body here. Ba, yeah, good. Very nice. That's lovely. Now, look at him. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it's okay. Slow it 
it up and down. Two, three, four, and ba. Ba, shoulders down, shoulders down, that's nice. And release up from there. Two, three, four, and now don't come through the foot too soon. Ba, ba, hold. Yes, better. Ba, ba, up. Ba, good. I, I missed your legs. <laughs> oh, I see, on the end. Perfect. <laughs> but really nice, very nice timing and everything. Yeah. Um, so from here, you're doing that move. Uh, you go boom, and then you go boom. Yeah, think of that like a little <gasps> boom. So from there, <gasps> yes. Uh, boom, yes. Okay. Because she's coming to you like that. Da, yum, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Then we have the separation. Mm -hmm. Then we come up, mm -hmm. separation. Yeah. Lovely. Cool. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. So much better than I realized when she was Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well it just went. Yeah. Well, because it, it, it comes from your back. Yeah. The turn is from your back. Yeah. yeah? And if these are here, we can't yeah. feel our back. Yeah. Can we? Yeah, I feel it. So much better. Well, it's just more natural, I think, yeah. it, for both of us. Less but sad. that lovely timing when you just reach, ba ba. Yeah. Yeah. Really don't have to be ahead of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Good guys. Thank you. Um, so it's three o'clock. We're meant to finish. Yeah, we're done. That was a shame. It's a shame. <laughs> we could have another half an hour, couldn't we? We could. No, there's some lovely things there. Yeah. Just hold on to them. Yes. Yeah. Look really yeah. comfortable yeah. together. Yeah. You look really nice. What does Darcy do for you when you're... So Darcy Bustle obviously um, is enormously, but she's probably the most famous dancer living in the UK, I would have thought. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but what, so what, what does having her help you? She whips us into shape. <laughs> That's what she does. She's yeah. tough, isn't she? She's tough, but, but um, you know, in, in a positive and productive way. Mm. So she's got, you know... A, a breadth of knowledge that is, you know, we all want to take and learn from. And she's very good at seeing in us where we can grow and how we can improve and how we can help each other, yeah. you know. Um, so I think she, yeah, she's really great at pushing us, isn't she? Yeah. Um, but also being supportive and nurturing. Yeah. She's, I, I've worked with a, a lot of coaches and I've really found, um, I don't want to say she's my favorite, but <laughs> she is really wonderful at seeing you as an individual dancer and being able to cater corrections that will suit you. It's not just a correction that she might give everyone. So she is also quite tall. I was about to say, yes, yes. that and must so, help. Yeah, a lot of the corrections that I think she applied to herself then are really applicable for me as well. And so I think we have this understanding um, or sh she can see that these little things will also help me. And the way that, yeah, Nicole said, she's very supportive. So there's never a, if you do something a bit wrong, she immediately says, okay, that's all right. Like, let's try again. And that really helps when you're really tired and when things are new and you might be a little bit shaky to just, you know, calm everything down. The first rehearsal I had with her, I stood for the solo and she just went, okay, stop, now breathe. <laughs> and just, you know, gave me that second to just, okay. And permission, almost, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah. To... And, yeah, and she knows, she knows what she's it means there, to stand know. there. Yeah. And yeah, she's really wonderful. Yeah, Absolutely. and I think we forget that, don't we? Mm. That our coaches at the front, you know, they know exactly what it feels like to do what we're doing right now. Yeah. And then suddenly we put this pressure on ourselves to, you know, be above it all and present ourselves in ways. And actually, you know, they've been there. Like, they yeah. know. It's a reminder for ourselves sometimes that we can just relax yeah. a bit with them. Yeah. I thought it was very interesting when she was saying that you should lean against your left peck because <laughs> she always used to do that when she was dancing. And so, exactly. Yeah. And so it's it's literally this knowledge that's yeah. being handed down from... And it's unique. Yeah. No, yeah. Nobody who hadn't done it could possibly yeah. Yeah. ever know. Was it helpful? Yeah, there's lots of little things um, mm -hmm. that, yeah, they're secrets. Little, you know, nudges that the audience will never know, will never see. Um, and in the future, we get to pass on potentially yeah. Darcy Bustle's tricks, you know, like, and that's kind of how the industry works, isn't it? Yeah. And they could be Margot Fontaine's. Well, they, they are, yeah. 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 You know, yeah. 
Yeah, it's um, really special. Other, you know, coaches, Leslie Collier passes on things from all sorts of famous dancers from the past, you know, so yeah. it just carries on forever. Absolutely. The history of the Royal Ballet, it's quite amazing. And um, what would you say is the style of the Royal Ballet? As in, in, because every ballet has a uniqueness, doesn't it? What, yeah. what would you say characterizes? Well, it's a difficult question, isn't it? It's like kind of refined. Yeah. I mean, the Royal Ballet is known for its rich um, story ballets as well. So I think mm. we're very good at getting on stage and putting on a show mm. and being authentic and, you know, not getting too rigid or stuck in a classical foundation. Mm. But equally, there's kind of a very classical and square. Uh, elegant elegant chic it's elegantly refined yeah style mm. which is kind of different yeah. to the american style which might yeah. be a bit more um what's the right term <laughs> flashy <laughs> well done <laughs> there we are which might be a bit more flashy you know yeah um so yeah the, the royal ballet certainly has its look doesn't it yeah yeah and class doesn't it class yeah elegance sophistication the musicality like the way so. the, the musicality that's yeah, another good one choreographers play with music i think is very particular yeah. to us and that's true that it comes from our choreographers. We've got such a rich history of mm. incredible choreographers that have yeah. shaped how the company is, how the dancers work within the company, yeah. and continue to do so now with you know Christopher Wilden and Wayne McGregor. Yeah. So I think they have a big impact on how we move and mm. are stylized. Certainly. Absolutely. Um, and how did you feel when you first tried on the costume? Well, you've you've probably been wearing the costume it's for a gorgeous. while. It's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> I, I felt nice. I had a real flashback to being 10 years old and just thinking, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. It's it's the tutu. It's the tutu, yeah. Yeah, it was really... There's a photo of me. <laughs> I look thrilled. It was, yeah, it was a big moment. Absolutely. Um, and I was just wondering, because obviously for male dancer, you're doing a lot of carrying and you frequently have a sort of face full of tulle. Mm -hmm. Is that... Is that true is that how you yeah do? absolutely and we you know the there are ballet wounds to prove it for example i can show you there <laughs> ow um but i mean yeah it's it's fine sometimes you know if if, if annette's on my shoulder and i'm bringing her down you know there might be a, a scratch across the top of my shoulder but it's kind of the least of our worries really yeah God. it's like other pains and aches that are just there all the time which are much <laughs> worse um but you know we kind of get used to that and at what point did you decide you wanted to become a dancer? I think I always I always knew I wanted to be a dancer. I think that's probably something most dancers will tell you. Well, or not. <laughs> <laughs> My, I don't know. It's kind of a call. For me, it was a calling. I just always had this knowledge that I was going to dance. It wasn't necessarily ballet, or it definitely wasn't ballet to start with. I was very interested more in the kind of modern musical theatre uh, route. Um, and then as I got older and my body grew, I kind of almost slotted into ballet more as my hips turned out in a way that was more um you kind of more suited to ballet and stuff so then I, I don't know then I kind of liked the thing with ballet is it's very um kind of academic in the way when you're looking at the dance styles and my brain kind of likes that challenge of being able to or having the opportunity to try something and be able to like work out the sum of how to make it better uh, and that's the thing that it's the other kind of addictive thing, isn't mm. it? That you kind of never get there either. So you're always kind of chasing this perfection, which is kind of unobtainable, not in a negative way, but in a kind of, you know, always wanting to be better. And that for me was quite uh, enticing. Mm. And how about you? I think I wanted to be a park ranger before <laughs> I wanted to be a ballet dancer. Okay. Um, yeah, I was like, I was very sporty. Um, I grew up in the mountains. My family is all academic. Um, and so I fell into dance by chance because my best friend at the time was dancing. And we started doing jazz and I had a lot of fun, but it wasn't anything serious. And then the jazz class required us to do ballet on the side, kind of to expand our dance knowledge. And my dad took me to um, ballet. And I remember the first class thinking, oh, okay, this is it. And it's something similar to Nicole, uh, what he said about this academic side to it where it's almost like doing math. I'm really not great at math, but <laughs> I imagine this is what it's like if you are good at it, where every exercise, every step is almost an equation and you're just trying to finesse each aspect of it so that the sum is beautiful. Mm. 
And it's a process that will last your whole life. And there are parameters because it is a strict technique, but then the artistry that flows on top of that is endless. So that became, I mean, I don't know that I realized all of that on the first day, but as you grow into the art form, you see that more and more and it's so exciting. Wonderful. Um, and how much pain do you have to go through? <laughs> a lot. Yeah, if quite I'm a honest. lot. Yeah. yeah, I'm in quite a lot of pain right now. <laughs> what hurts? Um, it's like a general ache, my shoulders and my lower back. Mm. But that's kind of like the day-to-day, -day, you know, workload. Um, I think it's quite, it would be quite rare for someone not to have these kind of aches and pains just because of the amount that we do. And, you know, we've got a great healthcare team that look mm. after us and we have access to massage and um, Pilates, gym. We've got an amazing team of sports scientists. So we have got a way of like managing the workload, but pain is inevitable, isn't it? You have to kind of befriend yeah. it in a way. Yeah, I think we've both had we've significant had injuries, yeah. injuries throughout our careers and pain is, yeah, it, I don't think there's a day when I don't have something that is kind of niggling or hurting. And you learn what your pains mean and how to deal with them and when it's too much, so you have to pull back and stop. But as Nicole said, we have a great healthcare team which in my time at the Royal Ballet has developed so much and continues um, its curiosity and wanting to help us more. Because there's not, I think healthcare and ballet is something that, something of a new um, yeah. kind of realm. And so they're really helping us and always asking questions and always researching more and more how to help us get through and manage our pain and keep us out of serious pain. Right, good. Yeah. So I hope no serious, just... No, no serious injuries. No, yes, <laughs> touch wood. Um, and I'm going to go on and ask uh, some questions that the readers have sent in. Um, before I do that, I just wanted to ask back to the Sugar Plum Fairy. Um, there was an idea in, in uh, a piece I read that the Sugar Plum Fairy and her cavalier are the uh, Nutcracker and Clara in later life. Is that something you'd ever come across? I mean, do you, do you think about their story or do they just live in this icing sugar world? I think the only thing I know I'm familiar with is that in, the, in Act One, there's a cake that gets brought on and the sugar plum and her cavalier are on top of that cake. Yeah. And then that, you know, that cake kind of transform in her in her mind that's kind of part of her inspiration i guess as she goes into this dreamland i think we're magical i like I to think, think we're really beyond magical. that i think yeah they're just kind of magical yeah fantastical beings that live on top of a cake yes yeah, perfect why not <laughs> <laughs> we're better we'll yeah. channel that for yeah. sure <laughs> talking of which uh, do you have frightful eating requirements are you constantly weighing yourselves and on a diet and oh, i just try and eat loads yeah as much as human a possible. seafood diet as they say it, what is that <laughs> you a lot? see food you eat oh, it. I see food. <laughs> yeah that's a good one yeah i just have to eat loads that's all i have to do yeah i don't i think that's a a big misconception with ballet dancers that were or maybe it was true in the past but we are really athletes so we're fueling our bodies as any athlete would um, we have huge physical demands and therefore require, you know, a certain caloric intake. And if you don't fuel well, you won't perform well. Mm -hmm. And so I think this idea of, you know, the ballerina that never eats and weighs herself is now out. Mm. We really um, mm. yeah, we're pushing yeah, the idea that we are strong um, athletes and yeah. Food is so good. Strong and healthy. <laughs> Strong and healthy. Great. Well, clearly that's the way to be. Yeah. Um, so, questions from readers. Stephen asks, to keep in the prime of physical fitness, do you perform exercise other than dance? And how long does it take? I'm assuming, you know, in a week, let's say. Mm. What What's the routine? I mean, probably we're both in the gym every day, aren't we? I would like to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> on a, on, well, actually, this week I've been very busy. So, yeah. so it, it depends on how busy you are in the studio. But I think a lot of us do a fair bit between mm -hmm. the gym and the Pilates room. Yeah. Um, and is to, that weights and or? I is do it, a lot of weights. Right. Because of the lifting element for the boys or the men, 
um, and for protection in my own body because I have some lower back stuff which is just you know niggles and I have to look after it I need to make sure that I keep all the other areas in my body strong so that I'm not going into those kind of slightly weaker areas so weight training is a big part of what I do um, and then in the Pilates room we'll do those kind of like finer tuning stuff which looks after the smaller muscles that are deeper that are really important specifically within like technical ballet yeah I also um I haven't been as much recently just because as your workload increases yeah. in the studio you have to balance not overdoing you know these extra exercises because you have to manage your fatigue throughout not just a day but the whole week and obviously with performances at night as well but I also go to the gym I also lift weights you know I think this is also a something that's changing for women in the ballet world. We also are required to be very strong when we're being partnered. Yeah. Our legs need to be really strong. Our core need to be very, you and know. Actually, sorry to interrupt you, but it's a lot of the girl, it, it's more of the girl than you would imagine in terms of partnering. Mm. Like the girl's strength and coordination really helps us with our lifting. Mm. So actually they're doing a huge amount. Yeah, and again, the team and the healthcare has really helped develop exercises that are suited to us as ballet dancers not just you know it's not just your average gym that you would you know walk into they're really careful and, and this is at the royal yes, opera house yeah and they make sure that we are you know doing things in the the correct alignment and not you know hurting ourselves in any way but gaining strength mm. great um and phil and jillian ask what is the most difficult move in ballet and how do you perform it Oof. Mm, it's probably different for us, isn't it? The most difficult. You could each give me an answer. I guess, I don't know if it's the most difficult. I've never done fouette turns on stage, which is a really iconic um, turn that usually happens at the end of a pas de deux, so in a coda. And it's when the woman um, just has to keep going on one leg and turn and travel. And... Um, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, it's all a coordination thing there as well. And when you're tired, it can feel a little bit wild. So I think... That's the Swan Lake 32 Yes, Quartes yeah, thing. exactly. Yeah. Um, and we have to... The Sugar Plum does 16 of those, but traveling diagonally across the stage. So, yeah, I think that will be probably the most challenging. And um, I'm just going to try to get through it. <laughs> I would say the same, but the male version. Mm. For me, I find the alisacon pirouettes in in um, that that happens in the in the similar kind of coda with the within the um, classical ballet part of deux, quite challenging. Um, but it's kind of each to their own. You know, we all have different technical mm. strengths, don't we? And I think it also one, comes at the end, so you're most when you're fatigued, fatigued, and yeah, that's when things are really hard. You've got to just really focus and mm. put your head in the game and get it done. Yes, because you're both absolutely out of breath. You're yeah. tired. When you're... you're tired. Yeah, and you're trying not to look tired as well, aren't you? Yeah, so that's yeah an keep, extra keeping smiling. <laughs> yeah. I had a yeah. coach say to me, Monica Mason, she said, there are moments when you are being an artist and you're, you know, indulging in that. And then there are moments when you have to turn to the science and just yeah. think of, you have to think of the technique. It's a matter of fact sometimes, yeah. isn't it? And those moments when you're exhausted and there's something so technical, <clears throat> you just... You don't switch off being the sugar plum fairy and the magic, but you have to just align <laughs> your mm. brain to get something done. So it's a little bit more economical. Yeah. You kind of switch on, get the job done mode, yeah. don't you? Yeah. And you, perhaps in that moment, you can sacrifice a little bit of performance or quality yeah. to make sure that you're achieving the technical element. Yeah. And smile extra at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> when it's gone well, extra cheese. Um, and Maureen asks, who inspired you? Hmm. Um, interesting. I don't I'd have to think about that. I don't think one person in particular inspired me. Um, I think I just fell in love with the world of ballet and then the world of art by consequence. It's, you know, I'm inspired every day by my colleagues, by, you know, people on the street. It, it's not just one person mm -hmm. that um, could. And you it's know, a pretty inspirational torch. place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It, it really is, yeah. I, I think I'm quite the same. Yeah. I don't think there was one person that made me feel that I wanted to become a You're not thinking dancer. Nijinsky? No, oh. no. Um, I think for me it was just initially a love of moving yeah. and music. Yeah. 
even dancing without music would be half half as much fun. I don't think mm -hmm. I would dance if there no, was no music. Like it's, the, it's the joy of moving to music that I think is yeah. the most amazing thing. Yeah. So maybe music. Okay. Yeah. It's not a person. But. Um, and we have a question from Emma Sams, who is an actress and a White Lodge alumna, and says, Isabel Boylston of the American Ballet Theatre describes the Nutcracker, the, the Sugar Plum Fairy and Cavalier role, um, as some of the most difficult dancing she has to perform. Do you agree why, and if not, what ballet is harder? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's just exhausting. Yeah. It's exhausting. And yeah. it, no matter how many times you do it, it doesn't really get less exhausting. Yeah. And I think every ballerina or dancer will tell you the same thing. Yeah. It Even actually, people have been doing it for years. Yeah, it's quite um, ref refreshing and, you know, nice to hear that everybody finds it hard. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of, the first time I ran the solo, I finished on the floor and was like, oh my God. And Darcy said, I know, I always felt like that. Yeah. And so you kind of, <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice not to that, be alone yeah. in that um, feeling of difficulty. Yeah. Acceptance yeah. is kind of key sometimes, isn't mm. it? Because if you, if you don't want to feel a certain way, but it's there, it's kind of mentally upsetting. Whereas mm. if you if you set it in your mind that it's going to be tiring and yeah. that's just what it is, yeah. then you can kind of, Tackle allow it. Beast yeah, you can allow it to be there and soldier on. Yeah. Crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jill asks, how do you bring freshness to your roles in such a well-loved ballet? I think everyone has their own, even though the steps are set and the choreography is always the same, each dancer has their own personality, um, which is fresh mm. and unique. And so it's not so much... I guess, trying to be something rather than just being yourself and allowing yourself to embody these steps that have been handed down. And of course, listening to the coaches and tweaking things, but really finding the moments where you just let go and you feel the music and you feel, oh, okay, this is me. Um, and you can see that in dancers. No one will do it the same. I think we have quite a few casts that um, do the Sugar Plum and Cavalier. And they're all the same steps, and yet you get completely different performances. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's just, yeah, letting yourself shine through. Yeah, I totally agree. OK. And uh, Josephine would like to know, what warm-ups and stretches do you do before a performance, and how long does it take? So you and your cat cow before you were in... I love a cat cow. <laughs> That's on my back, yeah. I've got to get the old back warmed up. <laughs> So, yeah, cat cows, um, so often in the gym as well, I'll do a series of low level intensity gym exercises, which get me going. Mm. And then some people, some people go to the studio. I don't like going I to go the to the studio before I, before a performance. Yeah, I'll do a, a ballet class there because of COVID. There's a lot of ballet classes that are now on YouTube. And so I have one that I always do before a show and I just kind of it's a slow warm up again of what we might have done in class earlier in the day and i just get myself refocused um and really like tune into my body and how i'm feeling um after a day of rehearsals you know you just kind of want to switch back on and um and then i'll try for us for the women, it's hard with point shoes. You want to get that perfect pair of shoes. I think I carry around about 10 pairs in my bag. And so there's kind of a shuffling and deciding which pair will suit the role of the evening. And um, so there's a bit of trial and error with that and you know, trying different steps that maybe I'm concerned about or slightly more apprehensive of. And then I'll go put my costume on and go down to stage. Wonderful. Um... Kelly asks what the highlight of your careers so far has been. Mine <laughs> is actually with Annette. Oh. Do you remember? Wolfworks? Yeah. yeah. I think it's, uh, it's, di it's difficult to say, you know, it's difficult to choose one in particular, but this one it was probably the most recent, um, mm -hmm. being last season. And we did a Wayne McGregor ballet called Wolfworks. Uh, and the first one... I played a role called, uh, well, I played a man called Septimus from the book, Mrs. Dalloway. And it's kind of a very emotional uh, story about a man suffering from PTSD, effectively. Mm. And Annette was my wife. 
and I got to pour my heart out on stage basically and it felt it was just the most liberating and freeing thing I've ever had to do and in one show I would go as far to say I kind of just disappeared and mm -hmm. came off stage kind of physically shaken and teary and you know lost you know just I had felt everything that I had just experienced um, and the music was so incredible and the way Wayne allowed these um, stories and emotions to come to life through movement was so powerful you know and that will stay with me forever mm. and it's quite nice because you you can experience you know it's very draining actually isn't it mm. you know because you really do experience it but then also you can come on stage and you're you're like okay wait a minute that didn't happen I'm fine now I can just kind of go on with my day or go home or whatever yeah um so I think that that for me would definitely be one of them that's really with nice. my love <laughs> <laughs> um I feel like I have to say the same <laughs> no no you don't have to include me I'm um, fine no I think that there are kind of two different sides of performing and one of them is this total kind of abandonment of mm. self um which I haven't experienced as much of I I'd say like for me the most positive experience was being the um fairy godmother in Cinderella mm. Cinderella has always been my favorite fairy tale from being a very small child and um I just felt really magical. I really, um, I had so much fun on stage and I didn't feel nervous. I felt like, I felt like I was looking out at the audience and they were hugging me and I was taking them along for this ride. And yeah, it was very fulfilling to, to have such a good time. Lovely. Um, and uh, Michaela asks, which is your favorite ballet? And which role would you like to dance? Hmm. I mean, there's so many. It's difficult again to choose, yeah. isn't it? Manon's coming up, which yeah. is undoubtedly one of mo a lot of our favourites, isn't mm. it? Because it's just such a rich ballet for the whole company. Such a rich story. Devastating, of course, but the music is incredible. There's such a variety of roles across the whole range of the company for people to delve into. And mm. we just get to have a bloody good time on stage. Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of fun, isn't it? We just, we really have a good time. Yeah. You get to mess around and you, yeah, you get to be all sorts of naughty characters in brothels and yeah, no, it's is fun. a brothel. Yeah, it's a brothel. Yeah, mm. exactly. So, yeah, our story ballets really are like uh, Manon and Myerling are. They, I think they have, they hold such a um, a place in our history mm. of the They're company. Royal ballet ballets, aren't they? Yeah, and. Um, yeah, whenever they come back, you can. There's a different energy. Um, I don't know though. I don't think I have a dream role. I, I'm, I'm just along for the ride. I mean, that's it's a good it's, way to be. Yeah, it's nice to be surprised. Annette will be making her debut as the Sugar Plum Fairy on New Year's Day. All pre uh, tickets to all of the Nutcrackers are sold out, um, but the Royal Opera House releases tickets at 1 p.m. on a Friday called Rush Friday. So if you do rush there, you might get lucky and manage to get a ticket to see her in real life. If not, you can visit the Royal Opera House stream and you can watch as many um, productions as you like at your leisure and it is free for the first 14 days. Um, I would like to thank Annette and Nicole very much for coming and talking to us here today. I'd like to thank you Telegraph subscribers and I would also like to thank the Royal Opera House for making the event possible. Uh, you will receive a short survey afterwards, so do please fill that in so we know how to improve things even more for next time. And I would also like to let you know that after this, we will be streaming more footage of the dancers rehearsing with Darcy Bustle. If you would like to watch even more of their amazing uh, work, then do keep watching after this. And it just remains for me to say thank you very much and wish you a very happy Christmas and New Year from The Telegraph. Think of delicate, yes. Hold, hold, hold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Up from the top of the hip. Top of the hip. 
good, good, and ya da ya da da bender. Yes, look at somebody. Da, ya. Hold, hold. Brr, ba. Good, fix it again. Hold. Da, da, ya. Now, use the arms. Up, down. Yes, that's better. <gasps> da, da. Good. A little bit further. Ba, stop. Lovely, that hover. <gasps> yes. Now step out forward. Ba ba. Coop it. Nice and crispy. Tight. Yeah. Da. Now a little breath. Crispy. Yeah, remember that coupe. Coupe. Good. Fit. Now breathe here. Breathe through the nose. Up through the nose. Out. Now there's a pause. Da, da. Good. Hold, hold. Ba, ba. One, two. Hold. Da, da. Think of the second leg. Attack it. Attack. Attack. Again, step out. Ba. Focus. Focus. Eyes. Over, 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 over. Focus. Good girl. Go on, keep using your head. Keep using your flick it. Flick. Yes, again. Use your back, back. Don't step out. Head, head. Finish, finish, finish. Good girl. No, no, you have to do that. We just lose focus in that back corner. Well done, well done, well done. Because it was quite perky. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It will be, I know. We've worked that out. <laughs> No, no, every, everybody I've come into every rehearsal, they've all gone, ah, it's really going to be fast. <laughs> it's okay, you can do that. Yeah. Ooh. Well done. I just actually really wanted to stop. For the first time, I felt like quitting. Mm, good, you Ooh. didn't. Well yeah. done. Well done, well done. It'd be good actually to do the manage again. Make sure you don't anticipate this. Yeah? Think one, two, ba ba. Yeah, don't, don't start moving in between. Have you got da da yum before that? Yes, please. Yum, ba yum. Right forward. Now, hold, go, ba, ba, that's better. Now second, hold, da da, yes. Second leg, da da, good girl, that's better. Full circle. Now lift those hips. And up, up. Good girl. Over, over. Don't travel. Don't travel on this. Over, over. Now don't travel. Stay up. Don't travel. That's it. Better. Again. Up, up. Use the head. Better. I think don't travel at all. Don't even think about it. Yeah? Think of just da, shinny, shinny, shinny. Yeah? Yeah. And then I think, because you have that natural power that will take you anyway. Straight to the floor. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever tried not going down for the double? Uh, I practiced in class. Oh, good. But I haven't. I need to then hmm? really use my spot, which I'm not doing. Not your spot. Use your back. Hmm. Yeah, so up, up, shinny, 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 and up. Up, use your back, back, back. It's nice. I think it's better on you. Okay. You don't have to do the arms up if you don't want to. Mm. You're quite like that. I think so, but. Okay. Yeah, but think of showing your back, back, back. That's nice. Because I think you can come out of it better because you yeah. can do that. Yeah. At the moment, I think this is 
we're, 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 <laughs> yeah. Shocking. No, no, no. <laughs> but I think it, it's just, it doesn't, doesn't feel as natural as you stepping into it. Yeah. Because I think you need to have this awake. Ba, ba, and da, da, da. Set left side, left side, and left side, side. Yeah, it keeps you on your leg. Yeah. Definitely. I think a little bit, because I'm tired and I know I have to mm. go down, mm. I clip it yeah, I when I go, yeah. Everything stops. <laughs> it's hard, that's hard. That's why everybody is staying up, mainly. Okay. You know, watch everybody. Yeah, because I, yeah, I saw Fumi do it. Yeah, that. and because it's going to fast. Yeah. I don't want you to sunny snatch. Yeah. Cause when, when you're the... up, you're just going, duh, duh. Okay. Back, back. Yeah. Can I try with mm. it? Very nice now, accents, lovely. Really think of the breath. Got to get the oxygen into the legs. Da, da. Da, yeah. da, ba, 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 ba. One, two, hold. Da, da. One, two, hold. Da. Good. Think of those arms again. Down. Down and now they go down and you go up. Lovely. No travel. Keep it up. Up. Don't travel. Now left side back. 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 Shin it. Shin it. Back. Back. Use your back. 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 Down. You could have saved that. Yeah. You just looked. Your eyes went upwards. Think of the whole torso doing the turn. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh yes, definitely. I can see you being able to control that very comfortably. Because you're, because you're already here, you're thinking of then when you come down that way, where before I thought you were doing this, because you were already that way into the movement, where you're staying onto the left side. But please use your back to show the turn. Yes, good girl, again. Now stay on the left, ba, ba, yeah, beautiful. Very nice. Stay left, left, left. Okay, so the beginning, we lost our delicate. Yeah, delicate. You went a bit. Mm -mm. Yeah. But no, it's funny because I, I want you not to go, if you do this, it has to be a ding. Ah, if you still nap, they need that. Yeah. But then we just need, you know how you waist pulling out that kind of, bah. you know, like, ground is like ice and if you went too into it it would crack yeah. I want that kind of feeling I'm not gonna let the ground crack yeah. <laughs> yes so it's that position position yeah crispy crispy and it yes yes now think of the arms think of the arms die yum are oh, you going outwards there you go no, no, no. Isn't it that, that, da, boom. Because you're, you're open, aren't you, for the Deborah Pay? Yes, you're holding that. Hold it open, hold it open. Ba, that's nice, that looks really nice. Okay, let's try the beginning. Now you've got to be on quarter because you do these beautiful stepping out. Make sure you're not gonna get too far past center. So that crisp, pa, soft, crisp, soft. All right, thank you. Yeah, Shh, yes. <gasps> Use the arm. Yeah, ba, yum, nice. Da. Show the back. Good. Over. Yeah, ba. Keep moving. Yeah, da. Hold core. Yeah, ba. Lovely. Good. Second arm, ba, da. Don't look at yourself in the mirror. Here you're allowed to, but now you bend and you look at on me. That's it. Don't be late on that one. Yeah. Hold, hold. This is lovely. I feel you have the rhythm. This side, I think you just get late. You know that? From there. Ba, 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 ba. Down. Da, 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 down. Yeah? It's a little bit behind. Boom. Da, ga. Up. Good. Yeah, the first one is never as big as the second. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Try it again. So a little bit further sideways. There, that's it. That's nice. Okay. And crisp. Yes, exactly. And wow, open the arm and comes down. Down. Now think of this one. Down. Up. Down. Yes. Hold, hold. Hold. Ba. 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 One, two, da. bend. Yeah, good girl. And up. Think of the again sporting side. Again. Da, brrr, da, up, da. Now, little pause, pause, hold. Da, da, da. Fix this again. Hold. Now use this. Ba, ya. Da, ya. Yes, good. Exactly. Stop, stop. <gasps> That's nice, we need that extra little soft. Now, a little bit further. Stop, stop. That's right, that's right. Nice work. I know Kate's really pushing you, but you, it will be all right on stage. Yeah. It's better to feel it like this in the studio. It's the second one. The first one's great. The second one, it lingers. It has to go one. We've got to reach that shape in one count. I'm seeing two. Yeah. And I'm seeing two. Okay. Okay. That's right. But the rest of it's rubby. It's all flowing now. I feel connections. Mm. Feedback, right? Yes. Really Very good. Really good. All right. This is a little into the little yum bum. Push down through the legs. Push back. It's a. You don't have to no. Oh, sorry, going back to the attitude. Going back oh, to the sorry. attitude. Sorry. Push down. Push down. In one and one. That's better. Hold. Now take your lot time here. Breathe. Not too high. Just eye level. Yes. Just here, just here. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just a little bit further. But the, everything is good. Everything is good here. When you're over, over, then you think through the center of the body, through the center of the body. And don't think of it there, think of it up. So it's already helping you for the next one. Yeah? yeah? Don't think of it out there. So down, down, then up, then up, then up. Yeah. Right, it's like that thread yeah. through the center, boom, there. And don't go up there, go right over here. Yeah. Just to here, boom, boom. So yeah, it's there already got you there. Yeah. <laughs> you only have to be in the center of the stage. You don't have to be past yeah. center. Good girl. It just feels like there's more. You know how I always said about the line? I always really helped me think, yeah, so the supporting leg, you're really directing it exactly where you want, exactly. Boom, very nice, very nice. Do you want the trill? Do you want to do the gargoyle yards? Yeah, maybe the arabesque too. Yeah, so, oh, across, okay. Just remember this bar. Don't make too big a deal of it, yeah? Do less work, mm -hmm. just off, yeah? Boom. It's not here, it's not here, it's not moving around. It's going ba, da, 
Do you want it to pick you up quickly? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's really efficient. Very nice. I think I'm coming around and anticipating. Yes, anticipating. Yeah. So just as I can it's, Yeah, because you'll get. It's only there to help you take off, isn't yeah. it? And we're just making a nice shape. <laughs> All functional. Yes. And then we dance on top. <laughs> yeah, do you want to go straight on it? Then you could catch it. You can catch it. Ba. Yeah. Ba. Think of the height. Good. One, two. Oh, lovely. That's more. Da. Yeah. Da. Yeah. Da. 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 Flatten it. Good. Stop. Now hold the fifth longer. Pippa. Yes. Hold, hold. Yes. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Good girl. Little pause. Dive. Yum. <gasps> Lovely. Keep that up. Now start breathing. Step, la, 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 Surprise here. Ba, ba. Now, hear this. One, two. Ba, ba. One, ho, wa. Da, da. Second leg, da, da. Go on, stretch it. You can do it. Go on. Lift the hip. And focus. I, o, over, over. You can finish it. Stay back. Left side, don't travel. Up, up, up. Use your back. Use your back. Back, back. Good girl. Well done. I almost lost it on the... No, I know. <laughs> I see you change. It's funny, it comes all the way through your body. You go, oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I know what it feels like. Never forget it. <laughs> Very nice, darling. I'm so glad we changed that end. Yeah, I think I'll really... Really good. I just need to find the confidence in pushing back. Because hmm. it feels like you want to break. You do. you have to go. Hmm. It's just, that's natural note with tiredness. We then go, like that. And if anything, you've got to think more. That the whole back is going to help you flick. Yeah. It's not just the head. Mm. So quick. Mm. Really. Lovely crisp turn. Yeah, lovely. Oh. Good job. Yeah. You I, I see when you get tired, you, you come back a bit on this first leg if you can still step, because then it makes that second leg so beautiful. And the only I, I don't know whether you, you consciously think, oh I'm running out of space, because it often happens just here. And I think you think, oh, I've got to hold back a bit. I don't know whether I think I have a hard time turning the piece coming around the corner. So maybe I need to. This one feels really natural. Mm. And, maybe and going it's down. I'm tired. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. No, I, I do, I, all I think you think, oh, I, I can't step out because I want to do the soda basque mm -hmm. on the center. If you can still not duh, yeah, you can go, yeah, but more underneath the hips so you're not spreading yourself. Yeah, that's it. Now, more under the hips, under the hips. Yes! So it's just holding onto it because it speeds you up, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. Hold the left side back, back. Just think of the back, back, back. Good girl. Lovely. And that, ba, here is going to help you. Ba, yeah. Instead of the future. I think sometimes I think just tongue. Oh, really? But I need my heel. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it really works for you. That looks lovely. So because it speeds you up, because it's more underneath yourself, yeah. think of that, the second one, yeah? As much as the first one. Da, 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 one. Second one, yes. It's, yeah. Yeah, and it just holds you. Because this one feels natural. Yes, so easy, that one. So then I can Because it's it the coming that. round, exactly. Yeah. See, I think that feels safe, so then you can back on it, yeah. and then it goes wild. Yeah. So hold that. 
Yeah. Nice. Squishy shoes. Really, really. Squishy. You've done a lot in them already. You can do the front ones as well. You sure? Okay. Do you want the full menage? 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 Yeah. So I want you to come from the wings because it's horrible coming through the. Oh, actually, you can come. You don't have to come through a door. No, you can come through the top wing. Yeah. This whole manage. Yes, please. Manage. 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 <laughs> very good when you bray on with an open leg <laughs> if you can go cross <laughs> it's funny because I just watched Lauren and she does it on the open leg but I think it's um, you don't want to make a thing of that okay. so you come out and you there da ya da yeah okay. keep it simple it's nice and tight you don't want to go too far dum yeah, the timing's good. Timing's very good. Nice chenets. So Anthony was uh, talking about feeling more dancey here, and he wasn't stepping behind. He said if we could have more movement. So da ya da ya da ya da 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 ya. Um, but if it feels weird, so it's leaving. <laughs> But because you can't feel your feet anyway at that point. <laughs> yeah, just as long as the accent yeah. is down. So we're not thinking, oh, yeah, but you were getting a little ahead anyway. No, don't take the head behind you. Leave it, leave it with me, leave it with me. Yes, nice. Da, 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 da. <gasps> Lovely. Yeah. I don't know, something about it um, makes both you and the boy much more in sync together. Yeah. This, we have a different feel, if you don't mind it. Do you want to try the fouettes again? Half, half the menage? <laughs> Thank you, Kate. So just half of it, yeah? <laughs> Placing is, is um, crucial. <laughs> yeah, you just, um, so you're very good on the first one, da da da, across the front. This is lovely. Then you go up stage. So both you and the boy. 
goes across. And then you've got a nice open diagonal. Yeah? Oh, I feel like uh. such a potato. No, you don't look like a potato, I promise. <laughs> no potatoes, oh. no potatoes there. Yeah, just so that you can get past center, exactly. Just so that you're crossing at the same time. It's, it's really lovely when you're together. It's hard when you're on your own. thing where sometimes we've lost our plie yeah. when we get tired we forget what's going to help us yes mm -hmm. so here when you go duh duh because these are lovely think of that moment yeah. just to save you so that you don't feel like oh, I'm now ahead because I can't hold it yeah bum 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 da yum yum ah yeah yeah a little bit more of that dum and dum come round yeah that's nice Annette really nice Really nice, exactly. Yeah, look really good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Well, I'm glad my things work for you. <laughs> Maybe. Anthony said a lovely thing. He said, keep the sparks and the glamour going. You know, yeah. it's that kind of thing where you play to it. <gasps> you, know, so, you know, and I know it sounds camp. Yes, exactly. But if you're not thinking, oh, I can't feel my legs. No, 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 no. It's yes, it's fine. Ding, ding, ding. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's just a change of mindset, isn't it? Yeah. And when he says glamour, I just go, oh, exactly. I mean, the stage couldn't be golder. Yeah. Your costume couldn't be golder. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So play with that. Mm. Use, use it as your asset. So I, w yeah. I would always, like when you start, do two on the spot before you start yeah. moving. Because sometimes when it suddenly it shoots, forward, shoots forward. So do two on the spot, then travel, travel. Then the second half, think, OK, I'm, I'm getting ready okay. for the end but still think at least four of them traveling and then the last two don't before the... Okay. That's lovely how you came on. Oh, good. You look like a ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> Tick. <laughs> You just you stopped using your head for yeah. the double. I felt that. Yeah, whoa. yeah. Well, whoa. Yeah. Where am I spotting? Where am I spotting? That's one thing on stage is you've really got to find what you're going to look at. Yeah. Don't just take it by chance. Make yeah. sure you go. Okay, this is what I'm going to focus on. Yeah. Yeah. That's like it's like everything, isn't it? When you come from here, all of those. Duh. Yeah. Think bah. Where, wherever it is, don't take your eyes off it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feel confident that you've found it. Yes. Because yeah. it feels <laughs> really da, different. Da. Or inside. lower it a bit for you, maybe, so it's more direct. It's that thing. You, when you do Queen of the Willies, was one of my most favourite things is that you could do that. Yeah. Look right through everybody, make them feel yeah. terrified. <laughs> and it's a little bit the same. It's that yeah. da. Yeah. And that's a, I think what Anthony was saying about that glamour is like sh a sureness. Yeah. yeah. I Coming think I out always feel more evil, but <laughs> it's still... No, you don't look evil. <laughs> You've got that beautiful lyricalness about you. It's in your nature, so you're never going to look evil, darling. Uh -uh. <laughs>